Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 22nd. Uh, this week, we're going to just jump right in here and we're going to see what is going on for you here. Uh, we're going to take a look at your current energies with this main spread and then we are going to clarify at the end with the a little tarot here and we're going to see if there's any additional details that want to come up for you here, Libra. Uh, also, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you here, Libra. But uh, Libra, this looks like a love reading for sure. <laughs> so I don't know why this person is slow though. So let's see what is going on for you here, Libra. You start off with this why card. I feel like you're asking why is this person so slow? like I said, at the beginning of the reading. So I feel for some of you, this is a person who's coming in here. Could be like a knight in shining armor, but I feel like they're moving at like a snail's pace. Knight of Pentacles here. You also have the seven of Pentacles over here. So it's like this person is moving very, very slowly. Maybe they're trying to heal from something I feel with this uh, regeneration card. It's like they're almost there though as well. This tree, if you can see that, this tree on this card has almost fully regenerated. So I do feel like this person maybe needs some time. But you have the Justice card, the King of Cups, and the Hangman here. Uh, definitely could be dealing with a uh, Pisces here or a water sign in general. You also have Earth showing up here, but this is just a general reading. So as I always say, I wouldn't focus on the sun sign too much, but I feel like this is you showing up in a very strong position. We have the Justice card, King of Cups, and Hangman, and it's like you are showing up at the top of the reading here. This really puts you in a position of power and strength this week, Libra. So you're coming up in a very strong position. You also, you always get the Queen of Pentacles in your readings. Every single reading I do for you, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So that's very interesting, very good for gathering resources. But I do feel that this is new love coming in for you here. And I feel like it's a new person as well. It's almost like one of those, like I feel like <laughs> saying that this could be kind of like a, um, you know, like a, uh, not middle school, what's the one under it? Um, I don't know, whatever. But I almost feel like this is like a middle school romance where there's a lot of pinching, hitting, and teasing, not in a violent way, but more in a teasing way. So I get something about teasing going on here. I feel like this could be one of those things where it's almost like you can't stand this person at first and then you fall in love. I don't know. I have all those stories popping into my head here with whoever the hell this is. Uh, I don't even, for some of you, I don't even feel like you know who this person is yet because it's like they're not making an offer until um, your present position. The problem with the present position is that it could happen at any time this week that a person could be making an offer towards you. The other problem is is that they're showing up as a Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a good card. It's like a knight in shining armor. But um, you know, Knight of Cups is just imagination. It's not, it's not grounded. It's not solid. I do feel like this person will make a more solid offer in the future. But this is really good for love. Next, you have this Wolf Spirit. This card says, Turn Knowledge into Wisdom. Uh, this card has come up quite a bit over the past couple of weeks. Uh, even it came up like twice in the mid-monthly readings I did for February. And it's come up uh, like at least once other time. I think it's come up twice this for this week as well. So uh, definitely a card of turning knowledge into wisdom. And it's mostly a card that I feel uh, just based off the astrology. I feel like this card is saying trust your wisdom. Trust the things that you already know. It's probably because we're coming off of this retrograde. During a retrograde, we revisit things. So it's like if we did something in the past, like maybe we tried to start a business and it didn't work out, this is saying if you try to start another one, don't forget about all the mistakes you made in the, the first time. You know, it's kind of like a card that just says, pay attention to your past mistakes. You have this uh, dear spirit as well. It says, bring a gentle touch. Uh, and <clears throat> it doesn't look like a very gentle reading to me, <laughs> like I said. Uh, so I don't know what that's about. I do feel that dear spirit is kind of, uh, it always reminds me, this card, of the Empress. So I do feel there's a lot of abundance coming in for you here, Libra. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles here. I feel like someone sees you as very abundant. I feel like this person here sees you as someone that they can have a lot of abundance with. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles to me uh, can also be a card of the Mother kind of like the Empress card. And so I feel for some of you, if you're wanting to have a family, I feel like this person kind of sees you as someone that they would want to have a family with. 
That's not obviously going to be true for all of you, but I do feel that this is a love offer coming in here. It's like, I feel you are maybe more focused on your finances at this time. She's like looking at this pentacle and uh, also she's facing towards you, the justice card. I feel that is just saying that it's your, that's your energy right here. And this, this uh, Knight of Cups is like wanting progress. This Knight of Cups is wanting things to move forward. So I do feel this is a love offer, but again, you might be more, you know, I feel like you're clearly more focused on your finances. It's like you're more focused on this right here, Four of Pentacles. I also feel like as far as love is concerned, it's like you're not just going for love with the Four of Pentacles. And I'm not saying that you're not going for love, but what I am saying is that th there's more to the story here with the Four of Pentacles. It's like you need the you need things to match up here, right? His head and his heart here are in alignment. So I feel for a lot of you, it's like you're not just going with your heart. You're not just going with your head. You're going with a combination of the both, right? So I feel like if you're going to move towards this love offer, I feel like you are making sure that your head and your heart kind of align with this person, whoever this person is. Again, for some of you, I would say for most of you, this is a new person that you do not know who this person is. I feel like you could be meeting them through work here with the two pentacle cards, or you could also just be meeting them uh, through just more traditional means with the two of cups here, like dating. Uh, could be like online dating or something like that as well with the two of cups here. But it's like you're, I feel like you're wanting the alignment with a person. Uh, next, you have the simplicity card with this focus card. I do feel like this is saying keep, keep things simple, especially with the Seven of Pentacles here. Seven of Pentacles is a good card to me, but it can be a card of like analysis paralysis. To me, it can be a card that says we are focusing too much on you know too many different moving parts when if we just kept things simple, if we just focused on one thing, we would probably accomplish a lot more. So I would be careful of the like analysis paralysis with the Seven of Pentacles here, especially if you're working towards a project or business, uh, I would focus on one thing with this uh, Seven of Pentacles. Not only that, you have this uh, Knight of Pentacles as well, as well. He only has one pentacle. You have one pentacle right here with the Queen of Pentacles as well. So I feel for some of you, this is kind of like saying, pick one thing to work on and just kind of make it happen this week. I feel like keeping things simple, obviously, will be best for you here. Uh, for others, this could be the same thing in love as well. Um, you know, could just say, keep things simple. You have the Two of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles here. Uh, I do feel like this could be a very solid love uh, connection that you are attracting into your life. Definitely new love, but I feel like this person is like a little slow. Like I said here, Hangman, Knight of Cups, not real, kind of like a little bit more imaginative. I do feel this person coming in for you. I feel like they are just a little bit more on the fantasy side of things. <laughs> you know, they're like more attracted to the fantasy of love or like the fantasy of being in a relationship. I don't really feel like that's a bad thing necessarily, but this is like, you know, I, what I'm trying to say is I feel like this is like a very romantic person. I feel like they're more uh, kind of into relationships for the romantic side of things, not so much the more practical grounded things that we see right here. So for some of you, when this person approaches you, which I feel like this could be happening over the next couple of weeks that you'll be approached by this person, I do feel that you're going to kind of want to take things slow as well because I feel that maybe you're at this point where you want to take things more practically. You're kind of looking at things from a more practical level, especially with this Four Pentacles. I feel you're saying to yourself, okay, the romance is great, but you know, I need more than just romance. You know, there, need, there are more moving parts to a relationship. So I feel like you're kind of being very practical here. I do feel this is also saying like keep it simple, right? I feel this is saying like especially if this is a new person that you're meeting, it's like you don't have to marry this person, so just go on a date, see where things go. I almost feel like this is saying like kind of see where things go at this time. But definitely new love coming in for you here. Uh, for others who are not interested in love, I feel this is you needing to ground your dreams into reality. The Net of Cups is your dream life. It is you having something that you want to manifest. Could be a business, a job. I keep getting business for you or like some sort of an investment. You have, the, you have very good pentacle cards here. But again, I would say that these are the more practical of the uh, pentacle cards in the deck. 
And what I mean by that is that these cards to me are all cards that kind of would re represent doing things like saving money, investing money, you know, any say, uh, you know, not wasting money, <laughs> being more practical. So I feel like you're just being very practical with your finances this week. But uh, let's dig into this here, Libra. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to uh, drop a like on this video. I really appreciate all the support. But uh, Libra, definitely new love coming in. You have the lovers here. So I do feel that this is definitely like a new relationship coming in for you. I want to get more details though on like where this person is coming from. Four of Wands, I feel like this person sees you as very abundant, someone they want to marry for sure. The star, this is like a dream come true, damn. <laughs> this is a very good reading. And the Temperance card as well. Definitely could be a fire sign. You always get fire in your readings and that would be a Sagittarius. But I do feel this is love coming in for you here. Like I said, this person is still healing with that star card. So you could be attracting a person who is still regenerating, like I said, with that card there. So it does look like you're, this person maybe isn't moving towards you yet because they're just not ready yet they're, or they're not at that place. But I do feel you have that a lot of you have like an admirer, could be a Sagittarius or a water sign are the two signs that stand out to me right now. So I do feel this is love coming in for you. It's like a dream come true with that star card. You have a lot of things here now that are pointing towards a dream. But again, I feel like this person sees you as very abundant, someone that they would want to marry. For others, this is like freedom coming in for you here, but let's dig into that. Yeah, judgment card, definitely like waking up to something here. Eight of Wands, communication. Like I said, this is your future position. I feel that this person will be communicating with you in the future. Um, there's really no other way to say it <laughs> in the Ace of Cups. Making a very solid love offer. This person's a lot more serious than you realize is what I feel like saying. So in a lot of ways, I think that these two cards up here were kind of like saying that maybe you view, remember what I was saying about this person being very romantic and maybe not seemingly very practical. But again, I feel like that's like just their outer shell. I feel this is a person who would be, has very deep depths to them. It's interesting that the King of Cups shows up behind the Knight of Cups here. It's kind of standing out to me. So I feel this person, they could be presenting themselves as a Knight of Cups, as someone who's just more in it for the romance or someone who has these like fantasies. I feel like this person just likes to keep it fun. You know, I feel like they just want to keep things fun in a relationship and not in a bad way. I actually feel like they're very responsible, very successful. King Cups is someone who could have very deep depths. You know, there's like more than meets the eye with this person. So I do feel that for some of you, this is saying like stay open. Cause again, you might not, I did get this resistance here where I was kind of feeling like you might not be exactly interested in this person like you're interested i feel like the attraction is there but i also feel like you're saying like is this person real are they serious i feel they will prove to you that they are serious but this person is coming in hot and heavy i feel eight of wands to the judgment card is like a major wake-up call but you know in a lot of ways it can also just be a person who's rushing in someone who is who wants to communicate with you very quickly again this is a new person eight of wands could be a new, uh, someone you meet through social media or through um you know, like socializing, you know, I, I know it's crazy in 2021, right? But I feel for some of you, you could meet this person through like a friend group or through, um, you know, some sort of social event or something along those lines. Definitely true love with the Ace of Cups. So I like to see that. You have the Three of Wands here. Like I said, this, is, this will happen in the future. The Page of Swords here, this person is already has their eye on you. And the Seven of Cups, what was I saying about the Seven of Cups here with the Seven of Pentacles? I, like I said, I get this feeling of kind of overanalyzing something here, Libra. So I feel you need to be careful of overanalysis with this energy. I also feel the Seven of Cups or that Seven of Pentacles. Two sevens is internal fears that don't exist. If you're working on any projects, any business projects, or anything you're trying to create in work or business, or it could just be like an investment or something like that if you're trying to make money, this here to me is saying like focus on one thing and make it happen. I, I just get this feeling that there could be a lot of distractions or there could be a lot of things that are pulling you in multiple directions here. And I feel like your success is going to be through focusing on number one results but number two just focusing on one thing at a time even this page of swords is a card of you know kind of learning and the page of swords is a card of curiosity so i do feel like you should keep your options open be curious do your research but also pick something and make it happen so if you're like trying to build a business just like try to get like the first piece of the business moving. Try to get it in, moving in the right direction or try to get something created here and you'll probably be a lot more successful 
this week. I feel like I always say this to you because you get the Knight of Pentacles, I think, a lot, Libra, and the Knight of Pentacles is like one foot in front of the other. So it kind of just says like, if you just focus on one foot in front of the other, you will be very successful here, Libra. I just want to get, yeah, you have the Page of Pentacles, definitely communicating. So this person's communicating with you. You have the Five of Cups. I do feel like they're trying to heal from, somebody is sad here in this situation um, because, it, you know, if this person's moving slowly, I feel like they could be overanalyzing. They could, this person is the one that could be overanalyzing as well, Libra. So if they're, if they have their eye on you, I, they will be communicating. So it doesn't really matter. You know, I always say that they're, I get these messages sometimes where I'm like, it doesn't matter because the person is going to make the move anyway. But I do feel like they could be, they could be the one overanalyzing if this is new love for you because maybe they've been hurt in the recent past, but it doesn't matter because they're going to communicate with you anyway. So who cares? And you have the Six of Swords, major improvements coming in for you here, Libra. I wouldn't call this like a very exciting reading. <laughs> Nine of Cups, a wish, some sort of wish coming in for you, Libra. But at the same time, I feel this is like one of those like progress readings where it's like you're making progress. Things are moving forward. Maybe it's not in the most exciting way, but I do feel like there are major improvements here. So thank you for watching, Libra. really appreciate it. And make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Libra, and enjoy your week.